<laughs> Wages went up. They want them to go down. Unemployment rate went down. They want it to go up. So they have to perhaps hike more to break the economy. Here we go again. All right. Thank you, Lauren. David Barnston shaking his head next to me. David, what stands out for you? Is it, you know, here we are trying to figure out exactly how the Fed is going to in- interpret all of this? Yeah, I was shaking my head just hearing Lauren say, and she's accurate, that yeah. the Fed wants to see the unemployment rate go higher. And it's sad. Which to is hear terrible. That. It's terrible. And it's really bad economics. It is not true that people having jobs creates inflation. It isn't, tr- it isn't no. true. It hasn't been true for over 50 years. Uh, this wasn't a great report. The issue, though, and I don't think the market seems to be responding as if the Fed is now going to all of a sudden keep their paws going. Yeah, not at all. The reality is that the inflation issue, if that was really what it was about, was already won. Inflation's coming yeah, down substantially. Yeah. The Fed wants to break something. They really believe that they have to overdo it. They have to trash something. And and that appears to be the track that they're on. All right, David, thank you. Keep shaking your head. Uh, And by the way, you're with us for the full hour, so we can get into this more. Let me bring in David Barnson very quickly. Can Biden change the messaging on uh, on his economic policies? I'll I'll give a bipartisan answer here. The Republicans can't make people feel like there's a recession if there isn't, if jobs are still good. Correct. Correct. But they can't. But Biden and the left can't make people think the economy is doing great if it isn't. That's the real problem. The economy is not in the tanks and it's not doing great, as he says. Yeah. There's just low, slow, no growth. Yeah, that's the issue. And we've been in that for some period of time. And to try to talk it up doesn't work. People know. And the quality of life, the quality of goods and services, robust economic growth like the Reagan era, by the way, like the Bill Clinton era. Yeah, that's true. We're not getting it. Nowhere near. All right, David, thank you very much. Uh, The president made some other head scratching claims during his speech in South Carolina. Uh, Lauren, what did he say? He repeated the claim uh, that he reduced the national deficit. (laughs) You know what? He's whispering it because he knows it's not true. What do you think, David? (laughs) Yeah, well, it's definitely a lie. I can't stand it when people say they reduce the debt and, and pretend oh, yes. that's the deficit. Right. But remember, the Build Back Better was going to add $5 trillion, and he didn't get it passed. And I can't understand politicians bragging about their own efforts failing. Yeah. That's well, what he's doing. That's what politicians do. President Obama did the same thing. Yeah. All right, David, thank you very much. I want to get back to the meta uh, issue, the, uh, the drama surrounding the new Threads app. Uh, What exactly is Twitter accusing (sighs) Meta of doing wrong? So Elon Musk's lawyer sent Meta a cease and desist letter, accusing threads of copying Twitter and building it with the help of former Twitter employees. What do you make of all this, David? Well, first of all, the one thing the world needs more of is social media. So (laughs) I'm really happy to hear we have another place we can go fight and talk about politics online. Uh, Um, It seems very silly to me. I don't think this is highly proprietary programming. There's plenty of different chat threads and things Mm -hmm. like that out there. There's various unique things Twitter has that others don't, but I don't know why t- Facebook would have needed to copy it. The, I just don't get what he's doing here. We usually have sarcasm Mondays, but we can have them on Fridays yes. too, David. It's a holiday point. week. So. It, it can be very effective. <laughs> jeans, long lasting. I mean, you've got to love jeans, but what about the stock, Levi? <laughs> yeah, it's long not one lasting. that uh, we cover a lot. We don't yeah. do a lot in consumer discretionary because they're very leveraged and it's hard usually to right. get dividend growth from them. But that, that challenge that they face is a tough one for a lot of companies. When you want to sell on your own, it's expensive for client acquisition. You know, we talk all the time about EVs, but they're still a very small percentage of the market. I mean, is that me just being pessimistic? Are we all going to be in EVs at some point here, David? No, we are not. And uh, Rivian in particular, I just it's really difficult when these guys lose so much money producing more cars. And each car right. they produce is a money loser. Uh, Tesla just had a particular advantage that's really going to be hard to replicate. You are our dividend guy. We know that. Stu loves you for that. Just, uh, let's talk about Blackstone. Yeah, Blackstone is one I haven't brought up on the show lately because mm. Stu has brought it up so many times over the years. He likes to talk Blackstone. And yeah. yet I wanted to re-bring it up because, boy, I think they are prepped for some big dividend growth in the years ahead. Uh, Blackstone has had a great start to the year uh, right now, a 4.3 percent dividend, but they have more than tripled the dividend since I bought it 10 years ago. We think Blackstone is going to be a big dividend grower in the years ahead. Got about 20 seconds. Tell me about Truist. I do less than play. 20 seconds. Truist, 7% dividend yield, 
P.E. It's only trading Ooh. at seven times earnings. This thing is going higher. Very, very good. That was oh, 10 seconds. Ten, you're very, you've got this down. I've got to tell you, David. Very good. And you can get it on the cheap. It's down, what, 30% this year. That's right. So it's All really right. gotten pulled into this banking stuff. Yeah. All right. Lauren, David, thank you. That's right, David. 17% of people have a car payment over 1000 bucks yeah. a month. It's amazing. It really is. It's a huge portion of what they're spending money on. And then yeah. you add what their house payment is. Car and house together is the largest percentage of income it's ever been. Uh, the semiconductors that go into yeah. cars, that's the huge issue going on. People do not understand. It's still a hangover from COVID when they shut the world down. It's been a quick hour. You've been here an hour and it's just gone like that. Thank Feels you like so an much hour for being here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that, David. But great to have you. Uh,